Okay guys, take two at WC Throttle Curbs. Explained again, I'm going to try and do this second time now. Um, for example, I was telling someone you never want to use a linear curb, throttle curb. Uh, helicopters come out the box with linear throttle and pitch curbs without any exponential. That's a factory setup that you could uh, take out of the box and fly with. It wouldn't be very stable. They just give you this first little flyable zone right here. It's up to the pilot to know uh, what to adjust the throttle pitch curves and exponential to after you uh, get set up. Now, trying to run a 40% gain with a linear throttle curve well uh, when you get up to uh, this stick position between 75 and 100 the hot the more head speed you have the less gain you you need the less gain you have the less head speed you have the more gain you need right so the gyro cannot adjust itself automatically uh, when you're fluctuating like that and not to mention when you're doing a hover I've heard some guys helicopters going when they're just hovering and it's like you know just really radical man and uh, you know they, they anyway so this is why I recommend using a throttle curve similar to uh, what a, an aligned speed controller would recommend you to program your throttle curves for to run uh, in governor mode. Rather I'm using a, whether I'm using a line speed controller or not, I still set my throttle curves for like as a to uh, govern my head speed above mid stick so everything above mid stick will be running this head speed and this consistent head speed will give a better tail hold right you understand what I'm saying so if uh, I'm running a hundred percent head speed then I would lock my tail gain, gain in at about 25 and that would give me an overall better tail hold and consistent head speed and I'd probably be running the same uh, gain at around 75 percent so a, a, a consistent head speed is always better for hovering and flying with than this crap right here and this linear you know so uh, this is what I'm trying to get get this guy to understand and maybe the rest of you out there might understand and uh, get what I'm trying to say here I've seen a lot of guys out there running uh, uh, different uh, things close to linear and, and another problem is like you know you don't have to run 65 flat you can run uh, depending on what pinion gear you have you might have to run a 50 flat but whatever you do above mid stick, keep it flat. I've seen guys take this 65 flat and run it around 80 flat, and and in normal mode. And the problem with that is, when you're hovering in normal mode with your head speed that high, when you go into idle up, well, you don't hear a change in the motor. So then what will happen is you'll be out there flying in normal mode and you'll think you're in idle up and you'll switch in idle up. Well, you won't switch in idle up. You'll go to try and do a flip or something. And because you didn't hear that change in the head speed, well, that's what happened. So I always keep my head speed myself below 70% uh, and I have the proper uh, pinion tooth and main gear. So my head speed is around the ballpark of what that helicopter should be running. Uh, other than that, I, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say there, but uh, 
I think that's about it. Consistent head speed is a lot better for the tail gyro. And if you're running a decent flat curve in normal mode, when you're going to idle up and you hear that change in the engine, you more than likely won't make a mistake and try to do any 3D while you're in normal mode. You don't really need 80% throttle curve for a normal mode to hover. Just for a nice stable hover if you want to fly around and do a little bit a bit of circuits 65 percent of work well and if you want to go faster then you hit your idle up and you can still uh, do your circuits if you're that experienced all right thanks for watching guys and uh hope some of you out there understand the point i'm trying to make here and uh maybe and, and maybe you can make it uh made more sense to some of the smarter guys out there, some of the more intelligent guys out there who uh, would rephrase this all differently, but uh, hovering and flying with pitch is always better than trying to hover or fly in a linear mode or anything close to linear. Keep it flat above mid-stick. Thanks for watching.